Thank you, Brian. And uh, finally, we have a number of uh, folks from the uh, faith community here, and to represent them is uh, Reverend Tim Ahrens, the senior minister at First Congre uh, Congregational Church. Congressional. <laughs> we sometimes get mistaken for First Congressional Church. Um, I want to say on behalf of my friend uh, Rabbi Michael Unger and my sisters of peace from the Dominican Order associates that are gathered, there are many across the state of Ohio who come and stand on my shoulder and I stand on those who have gone before us today. Uh, we stand together to say this must end. We must stop gun violence now. And Ohio's children if they're going to have a prayer and a future without fear, need to see the end of weapon escalation in our state. We must stand our ground on the sacred ground of our beloved and beautiful Ohio and say no to legislation which increases the number of shots fired and children wounded and children slain in our state. In memory of Russell King, of Demetrius Hewlin, of Daniel Parmator, who were shot when going to school on February 27th of this year at 7.30 a.m. while sitting in the school cafeteria, all of them dying in the days that followed. The leaders of Ohio should stop presenting legislation which increases the use and the expands the, the use and, and availability of weapons and end the sale of weapons now. We need gun control legislation rather than presenting more gun laws that allow for carrying weapons into public places, including churches, mosques, and synagogues. Uh, I just want to say a word about that. We, each week as Christians, pass the peace of Christ, and we say this is the peace that passes all human understanding. And we turn to our neighbors and friends and greet them with the peace of Christ. I don't really think it's necessary or needed in any way that we have to wonder if the peace we're passing to our neighbor is one as we embrace them that will feel under their suit or perhaps their dresses or whatever a gun on their body. I can only tell you when guns are in church, they cause death. As a religious leader in the great state of Ohio, I believe in our motto, in God and with God all things are possible. To me this includes the possibility of handgun legislation which controls and ends the sale of these weapons in our state. No one needs to have a gun in church. No one needs to have a gun in school. In a nation where, again, according to the statistics of the Children's Defense Fund, from the last time they could gather good data, 2008-2009, in our nation, where the number of preschoolers killed was double the number of police officers killed in the line of duty, we do not need to arm more people and allow for more freedom to carry more weapons of what I call individually held weapons of mass destruction. As a pastor and as a father, I am aware of the social cost to each of us as Americans as well. In the emergency room down the street at Grant Hospital, people were taken in from gun wounds last night. Others came in dead. In the emergency rooms all over this state, the cost of caring for those who are victims of gun violence raised, rises every day, and that is passed on to all the citizens of the state who pay insurance for health care. So our medical premiums go up simply because people are gunned down. In addition, the cost to the legal system, to the prison system, to our educational system for protecting us against those carrying weapons into school escalates daily. And it is crippling our economy, except for those who benefit from the sales of weapons, some of those who will take pride in this event. 
I call upon Governor Kasich and all elected officials in Ohio to honor our gunned down children of recent months, including Russell King and Demetrius Hewlin and Daniel Parmator by saying no to those on the extreme edges of Ohio society and politics who seek to force stand our ground legislation on the rest of us. Honor the grieving families of Russell and Demetrius and Daniel by vetoing or ending legislation which endangers us all. Thank you.